Here's another idea for your photography. Try light painting. Here's my setup. I'm using the Canon 80D with the 18 to 135 millimeter kit lens and a tripod. Next, I'll be using this simple LED flashlight. I'm going to use this paper roll and add it to the end of the flashlight to keep the cone of light small and focused. Next, I'm going to set up my camera for light painting by doing the following. Number one, focus on the subject, then turn off the autofocus. Number two, turn off auto white balance. I set mine to 4000 Kelvin. Number three, turn off image stabilization. Number four, put the camera in manual mode. Number five, use a 10 second shutter speed and aperture f8 as a starting point, but you'll need to experiment with your own settings. Number six, use your two second timer delay to minimize camera shake. Number seven, turn off the light, start the photo, and wave the flashlight in a circular motion. Number eight, if your photos are too bright, either reduce your shutter speed or reduce the time you use the flashlight. And this is what light painting looks like. You'll want to take multiple photographs and focus your light on one specific area at a time. Don't forget to do the background. Next, I'm going to bring all of the photos into Photoshop. Here you can see that the individual photos don't look that impressive. But if you leave your base photo layer as normal and change the photo layer above it to a blending option of lighten, then magic happens. This will blend the light of the photos together. Copy the layer style and paste it to the other layers, leaving your base layer as normal. And there you go. I'm going to turn on and off each layer so you can see the difference this makes. Crop the photo and you have a finished light painted photograph. Here's another example photo using a sailboat. Here are the individual photos. And I'll change the blending option to lighten, copy and paste that layer style to all the other layers. I'll turn the layers on and off so you can see the difference. Crop the photo and here you go. And lastly, one more example of light painting. Here are the individual photographs. Change the blending option to lighten, copy and paste that layer style to all the other layers, and turn the layers on and off so you can see the difference. Crop, and there's your photo. Alright, there you have it. Be sure to let me know which photo you like most. Enjoy!